what is up you guys so today we are back at spirit and we are going to do texas chainsaw massacre someone wanted me to do that video so that's what i'm going to do and i don't know i remember seeing some stuff i don't know how much they have but so it may be a short video or a long video. i don't really know so we're in for a surprise make sure you guys like and comment on this video it helps out the channel and yeah okay, starting off we have this texas chainsaw bobblehead and he has like a little green chainsaw this is a bracelet dang they put a bracelet on him the holly's like boned or something and he's wearing that mask that mask is super creepy it's a pretty neat bobblehead and i don't know if you remember me saying like they put so much detail in these boxes really neat we want to keep the box i don't know super cool like, I have the same type of bobblehead, but Michael Myers, and I kept it. We have the sidestepper in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember. They had, like, the Michael Myers one I showed in my video. But we're going to see what he does. All right? Yeah, pretty cool. I wish he said a little more, but I know he doesn't really talk, but maybe make more noises. But anyhow, his eyes kind of look like cat eyes, right? So he has the mask. Pretty neat. A little blood on the chainsaw. I like how the chainsaw is neon green. That's pretty cool. So that one is $32.99. Not too bad. Find some more stuff, shall we? <laughs> Alright, here we have a bloody chainsaw with his face on the actual blade, which is really cool. It's really bloody. It looks kind of rustic. And on the other side, it says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I kind of like the silver look to it. It looks a little... It looks awesome, actually. It looks like aluminum kind of thing. Super sweet. Next up, we have this sign. It says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it has the van and the house in the back. And it has him holding a chainsaw. But it's kind of like 3D printed. So it's layered on top of each other. It has a little blood splatter. And the massacre is like cut in half, which is kind of cool. But what do you think about this one? I actually like this one. It looks kind of like old, you know? And on it, I don't know if you could tell. There's like a little bit of a pattern on his face and skin. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But like a drawing. Oh, that. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know why I keep choking. Anyways, that's <laughs> this is $17.99. That's pretty cool. Room decor, you know? I like it. Very 70s. And then they have this artwork that's like the other ones I showed before with the kind of neon colors. His is not so neon, but it is like a rustic kind of feel because that's how the movie is, you know? So pretty, pretty neat. He has his, you know, bloody apron and his little shirt. Not little shirt, but his dress shirt. He's wearing the mask. Pretty creepy, honestly. But it's cool. It's like he's poking out of the shadow, you know, like pretty neat. See if I can find anything else Texas Chainsaw Massacre for you guys. I'm trying to see if they have anything Texas Chainsaw Massacre Max, but I, I don't see anything. Kind of looks like the grandpa in the movie. You know what I'm talking about? I think he's in the wheelchair and stuff like that. Like he's, uh, He looks dead, but he's not dead. I thought he was dead the whole time, but he's not. Anyways, it kind of looks like that, but I don't see a leather face mask. Weird, right? It's somewhere else in the store. I don't know. I gotta look around, but it's not over here. Do they not have one? What the heck? I don't know why I like these masks. The pig and the bunny, they look pretty cool. Like a burlap sack. I don't know why. It looks cool. Those are pretty awesome. God, look at this cat. It looks like it's on drugs or something. I don't know. His eyes look so weird. Oh, his, his mouse moved. Ooh, this one is so gnarly. I actually love that. Ah. 
I said I was going to do a video on it. I'll have to come back and do a video before they're all gone. But anyways, back to Chainsaw Massacre. I feel like they're kind of running out of stuff here. Like, I, I mean, I'm probably going to have to visit. I just do this one because it's so close to my house. Like, literally, like, I guess I'll have to go to a further one and see if they have more stuff. Like, you know, where it's less populated, they'll probably have way more things still in stock. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty busy where I live over here. I want this Sam. He is so cute. If you guys haven't seen this movie, you should totally check it out. It's pretty gory. It's He's a cute little guy. I want this stuffed animal thing. I don't know why. He's super cute. I would love to add him on my leg for a tattoo. I don't know. He's just super cool. Guys, we do have one Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. Just one. But it looks pretty cool. We do have this one right here. It looks pretty gnarly. Look how bloody it is. I love it. And it's like a darker blood, not like a super bright blood. But they have like a girl and she's kind of blue. I don't know where she's bleeding from or she just has blood all over. And there's a bunch of blood on the chainsaw. And then up here in the house, we have him with a hammer, a little broken window. There's some purple lightning in the back. Really neat. The mask looks pretty dope. You can see him holding a bloody chainsaw. It's orange and it matches his shirt. That's pretty funny. But yeah, he's wearing his little smock thing. Super cool. I just have to say, this creep show shirt looks amazing. Like, that's disgustingly good. Like, it looks like a comic book. I love it. I know you guys saw my other creep show shirt. I love that one. I got that one, like, I was like maybe like two years ago. But yeah, I need to get another one. This one's so cool. And he's missing an eyeball. But I don't know. It just like a nostalgic kind of look to it. I don't know. I love it. Cool. It's a pretty dope shirt. Still like really love going through this thing. I don't know why it makes me feel like a little kid. Like it's so cool. I love it. Like they have all the funny mirrors. <laughs> I got this one. Looks kind of weird, right? Whoa. They weren't here the last few times I was here, and yeah, they have a scream one and a trick-or-treat one. Look how cool these things are. I would love this little guy in my room, and he lights up, and they have scream. They didn't have scream last time, like when I was doing the scream video, but let me know if you guys want me to do a video on the trick-or-treat guy, like the Sam guy. Oh, I love him. Let me know. I absolutely adore him, so if you guys want me to do a video, comment down below. It would really help me determine that if I should do that or not. Oh my gosh, I need this, dude. Oh my god. Yo, I need this. I I need it. I absolutely need it. Look how awesome he is. Oh my gosh. Any of the little pumpkin? I want this guy so bad. Wow, that is so cool. He's really cute too. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys want me to do a video on Trick or Treat, you know, the Sam character. Let me know. I don't know about you guys, but I really love the tumblers that they have here. <clears throat> this is the only stuff I have left at this one, but they had some pretty cool ones. They didn't have too many horror character ones. Not so much. More like Nightmare Before Christmas, you know. Oh, gosh, what was the other one? I don't even remember because, oh, the... Um, the Sanderson sisters, stuff like that. They didn't really have too many horror, horror. This skull one is really dope, though. I like that one. But yeah, those are really cool. I wanted to maybe get one of those, but I can order it online. Also, the one that I really want. You know, I don't want to settle for something, but if you love, which I know a lot of people love Nightmare Before Christmas, if you're a big fan of that movie, you should definitely look into it. They're really neat, and yeah, you can collect them all. <laughs> I have a bunch of kind of like witchy stuff here. I don't know if you guys would like that. I can go more into depth about each item if you would like. Comment down below if you like that kind of stuff. And I can definitely do a video on that. Just let me know. I'm not sure if you guys would like that. So comment down below. Let me know. Same thing with the Nightmare Before Christmas. I think I mentioned that earlier. I'm not sure. I kind of forget what I say. But same thing. Let me know. I can go into depth about each detail. I mean, what? Each item. <laughs> hey, I think I got everything Texas Chainsaw Massacre related in the store for you guys. So, yeah, not, like I said, not a whole lot now because the 
season's closed and everything is gone, but I tried to make a video out of it for you guys. I really tried. You guys, like, if I did a video on, like, a bunch of skulls here, like, they have so much stuff, so, uh, or, like, yard decorations or stuff like that, like, stuff not really movie-related. Oh, my God. I <laughs> see that head right there? I looked over, and I swear my heart dropped to the floor right now. I don't know why the corner of my eyes, I thought someone was standing there, and... <laughs> Oh. Anyways, um, would you guys like me to do like Halloween decor video, like just random, like you know, kind of like outdoor, indoor, random, just Halloween themed decor, or no? Or you guys like the movie stuff? Let me know. Comment down below. But they did get more animatronics in. These were not here the last few times. Like, look at all these. So I don't know. Like I said, maybe they're bringing in more stock. I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, who's your favorite horror movie? character i know i asked that a lot but like who are your top three if you could pick a list i mean pick a list if you can make a list what would be your top three horror characters comment down below let me know my top three number one over all of them would be jason that guy is so cold like i love jason like Jason Voorhees, yes, he's freaking cold killer. Um, next would obviously be Chucky. I love that little guy. He's like little mean dude. I love him. And the third, I've always loved Michael Myers. I don't know why. I love the movie. It's so nostalgic. Like, ah, uh, yeah, he just doesn't say anything, and he's super slow, but he'll catch up to you and kill you. You know what I'm saying? So he's he's pretty cold too. You don't say anything. He just he's scary. So uh. Yeah, those would be my top three. What would be your top three? Any any creepy or horror movie, anything like that. So comment down below. Let me know. I want to see what your guys', you know, opinions are and like what you guys like. I don't know. So let me know. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know it may be a little short. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I did every single thing, Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the store that I could find. Everything. So uh, I'm just gonna keep, you know, I'll keep doing videos and I'll film what film new stuff that arrives. So like I think I added a few things in this video. Everything new, uh, isn't it sad? It's not sad, but I know what's new and I know what's not new in the store. <laughs> but I'll just keep you guys updated all the time, just showing stuff because I think you guys like to just see everything in general. So anything new, I include it in the video in case my video doesn't have that much and i kind of like to switch it up like i categorize it but i'm gonna throw in a little you know what do you call it and a little sugar no candy no what do they say i don't know i'm just gonna spice it up a little bit and throw in mystery things okay <laughs> yeah so make sure you guys subscribe comment whatever you love to see what you want me to do next a different store do you want me to still do spirit and yeah i really appreciate you guys I literally come here every day so i know what to do and i know what's been here <laughs> Alrighty, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, yeah, so stay spooky. Bye. <laughs>